Hi, my name is Nakia, and I'm with Divine Elements of Design in the Neighborhood of Voice. I'm a certified interior decorator, professional organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And if those are topics that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel to see my weekly videos and also hit the bell for a notification. On this video, we're going to discuss nine ways to decorate your rental home. Just because you're in a rental doesn't mean you cannot have your own personality and make your home as stunning and reflect your own personality. I am currently in Hawaii. I'm staying downtown Waikiki, and I thought about doing this video just to give you some information because this, although this is an Airbnb, this could possibly you know, be a rental home for someone. And there are ways that you can decorate it. Also, full disclosure, if you may hear a lot of noise in the background, and it's because I'm downtown Waikiki, <laughs> it is a lot going on here. So during the editing, I will try to edit most of the stuff out, but I'm just gonna try my best to get through this video and give you the information that I'm promising you. So the first thing you can do in your rental is be creative with wallpaper and paint. As you can see, <laughs> this home has a lot of turquoise paint and it really actually works for the theme of what they're going for. So in your home, wallpaper is something that can be easily applied and today's wallpaper is not the same as our grandma's wallpaper. No offense, grandma, love you to death, but this new wallpaper is stunning, it's versatile, it's easy to install, and it's easy to remove. And the styles are just fabulous. I interviewed a designer a few, probably about two years ago, and we went to his showroom and looked at tons of his different wallpapers. So I will link a video, I will put a link to the video and the blog post where we discuss different things that you can do with wallpaper in addition to just putting it on the walls. But that is the first one, wallpaper and paint. Now, paint is easy. It's one of the least expensive things you can probably do to a home. You can buy a can of paint for, you know, as low as $25. It may even be lower than that if you go to some place like um, Home Depot or Lowe's. Personally, I get all of my paint from Sherwin-Williams. And I will link an article why I choose Sherwin-Williams for my paint below. But as long as you... Paint the walls back white. Typically, painting is not a problem. So just make sure to consult with your landlord and see if that's fine. The next thing you can do is be creative with your area rugs. An area rug can bring texture and contrast and color to your rental. And, you know, be very creative. Rugs can be inexpensive and they can be very expensive. So just work or within your budget and find one that works for you. Another thing you can do that a lot of people don't realize is you can go to an actual carpet company and basically any carpet that they have that they sell that goes on the floor, they can cut it and make it a rug for you and, you know, surge back and size and everything and it can be a rug. So that's something that you can consider if you want a non-traditional size and want to spend a little bit more money, definitely go for it. The third thing is be creative with your light fixtures. Just because your home has a single bulb or has one of those old fashioned light fixtures doesn't mean you have to stay that way. Long as you keep the original light fixture, so when you move out, you can replace it, go ahead and go to one of the other you know, lighting fixture places and find what you want and have an electrician, a certified electrician, install your light fixture for you. And that way you can have a ceiling fan if you want, you can have a chandelier, basically whatever you want. So I highly do recommend that. The fourth thing is floating shelves. Now, yes, I always talk about how flat surfaces are the devil, <laughs> but they can also be fabulous. So floating shelves are a way to add shelves to your home and adding things on top of them for your decor. That you know, is a fabulous look. So I also recommend that. The fifth thing to do is don't be afraid to reinvent the space. And when I say reinventing the space, I'm referring to if you have a closet or have a certain room, you don't have to use it for that. Say, for example, in my home, we have a closet under the stairs 
that we turn into a room for our dogs. So Simon has his own room and he actually has a chandelier in there and a picture on the wall of his little friends. But yeah, don't feel obligated to, you know, whatever the room is supposed to be. It doesn't have to be that. If you want to change your, you know, your closet into a home office, feel free to do that. If you have a bedroom that you want to turn that into another closet with your shoes or a home office or whatever, you can do it. So you're not defined what you're going to do with these items. And there's um, <laughs> someone riding down walking key in a motorcycle. <laughs> okay, so number six is window treatment. You can be very creative with your window treatments. Your window treatments can be a vocal, a vocal point in your room. In your home so most times when you're renting an apartment or a home they may have you know the, the standard blinds and that's good for protection and from the Sun and for security from people but if you want to keep those blinds there and add some curtains some stationary panels a balance these are things that you can do to just really spice up that room and those colors could, you know, match with all of your decor. So I do highly recommend that. I actually have a custom window treatment program. So if you are in a DFW Metroplex or if you'd like to work remotely, definitely send me an email and we can set up a consultation and I can give you some pricing on some window treatment. The next thing that you can do is switch out your hardware in your kitchen. Now, this only works if there's already hardware there because you don't want to put holes in someone's kitchen cabinets, the doors, if they're not already there. But if there are already hardware, all it takes is a screwdriver to take those old hardware off and put your new hardware on. And like I said before, keep the landlord's original things because when you move out, you're going to want to replace those. Another thing you can do is be creative with art. Now, when it comes to putting holes in someone's walls, sometimes you um, may just want to opt for more pieces. You know, the bigger the better. If you use something like command strips, that is also wonderful because you don't have to worry about those holes and trying to replace those or uh, refill those holes when you, leave, you, when you leave. That can be also a great thing. So what you can do is just be creative, find your you know, inspiration pieces, and you know, be creative and hang them on the walls. And when you come home or you invite guests over, you know, create that conversational piece, create that piece of decor that best represents your personality in your home. So don't be afraid to put things on the wall, your art, your pictures, your decor. The next thing you can do is add plants. Now plants have a lot of physical and environmental benefits. It helps keep the air clean. It helps produce oxygen in addition to being beautiful. So I highly do recommend, you know, being creative with your plants. Now, if you're like me and have a black thumb, you may not be able to use real plants, but there are some faux, faux plants that you can purchase that look just as real. So just be careful, don't go for the very first item you see. You know, shop around, find a plant that, you know, is something that the core fits what you want it to. And then also you have to think about uh, dust. So one that you will feel comfortable dusting often just to make sure that dust isn't on it. So overall, I hope you enjoyed these, this video and listening to the eight ways that you can add your own personality to a rental. Because just because you're in a rental does not mean it should not be your home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up. If these are the type of videos you like, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. So thank you very much and have a divine day.